Hello everyone, this is Moshi Mutebi. If you are a beginner who is looking to learn how to use Adobe Dreamweaver, then I guarantee you that you are in the right place. And in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to use Adobe Dreamweaver and basically how to navigate through it. So we are going to go through the basic details of this software, including the necessary tools required to build the website you desire. And by necessary tools, I basically mean Dreamweaver itself. So it's important that you have the application installed and downloaded. And if you haven't, you can just head over to their website and download the seven day free trial right now. So we can begin starting on the project. So let's get right into it. So now we are going straight into the action. When you open Dreamweaver, this is exactly what you expected to see. We can clearly see that there are several navigation buttons here on the left. So we're going to go ahead and click quick start. What you're currently viewing now are several templates which can be used to build your website. Some of these templates that you are sure that I'm sure you might have heard of like CSS document and HTML as well as JavaScript. And uh, we are going to go ahead now and set up our website by clicking on site setup. This is exactly what you expected to see. We are going to go ahead and type in the name of our website. Now let's select the local folder that we want it to be saved in. I had already created a folder specifically for this, so I'm just going to go click right into it. And now let's save our work by simply clicking the save button. Now our site has been successfully saved onto our local folder. Now let's begin the process by clicking on HTML document template, which is going to bring us right here. So once you get to this point, the first thing I want you to notice is the navigations right on top here. So we are currently in the split view. And in this view, we can see that there are two screens divided horizontally. One at the top, which is referred to as a live view and one at the bottom, which is referred to as the code view. You can navigate through the split view using this to suit what you're comfortable working with. Let's take a look at the panel now by clicking on insert, which shows us a variety of components that we can add to our website. Using this is much more faster and easier to get whatever component you want on our website. So let's go ahead and click on the header component. Before we click, make sure that the header is being put between the body. So we click the end of the body tag and now let's go ahead and click the header component. Note that it comes between the body tags as you can see that it appears on the live view on the web page as well. So we can edit the content of our body by erasing the words between the two head tags. So we are going to go ahead and type anything we want. I'm going to go ahead and type welcome to my website. I highly recommend that when you're typing in the text, Type the text in the lower half, which is basically on the code view section, rather than doing it in the live view to simply avoid confusion. It may work, but if sure, it can cause a lot of confusion. So basically editing everything in the lower half. We can change the size of our text of the header by heading back over to the insert panel. But you have to make sure at first that you highlight everything, including the tags. So... Let's now double click on the H3 tag that we currently view at the bottom. So you can basically change it to anything that you desire. So I'm going to change it to H2 first so that we notice a difference. Yes, it has worked. So we can clearly see it's been changed on the live view. So let me go ahead and change it back to H3. Let's now add an image to our website and I do this by heading back to the insert panel and clicking on the image option. 
once again we must make sure that we put our image between our body so we click the end of the heading tag and go straight and click on the image component so now let's select the image that we want to insert and uh, yeah we've selected it so we can clearly see that the image is too big to fit but that's totally fine because we can adjust the size directly here so let's reduce the height um i'm gonna put a lower value 20 to 50 and i'll do the same for the width this is just for demonstration purposes so i'll keep it this way for now let's now add some content to our website once more let's click after the image tag and head over to the insert and click paragraph we can as well add our content between the paragraph tags to save time i already typed down a bit of content on our document which i'm going to copy and paste into here Let's confirm that our content has been successfully added. Yes, perfect. We can see that our content has been added successfully. Now let's have a sneak peek of what we have done by previewing our website on a browser. We do this by clicking on file, then real time preview. And you're gonna want to select the website you want to view under. I'm going to select Microsoft Edge. This should pop up asking if we want to save our work and we are going to go ahead and click yes. Let's rename the browser file. You can type in anything you want and simply click save. Here it is. This is how our website looks like at the moment. You've done it. Congrats on making it this far. Now we are going to go back and try to alter some things. Now, for our header, we are going to go ahead and create an ID through the use of CSS, which stands for Cascading Style Sheet. Because we are only handling basics in this video, I'm not going to go into what CSS is. So let's highlight the text, including the tags. We then head over and create a tag by typing here. We can type, for instance, hashtag heading. Then click on the plus button and click create CSS file. We then click browse and we are going to save it in our website project file. Let's rename it and call it website. Click on save and simply click OK. And notice that there is hashtag heading written beside our heading, which confirms that our ID has been successfully added. So we can alter our text, which is the heading by clicking on CSS design panel. And we are going to create a new selector by clicking on the plus sign here as we can see the hashtag heading id has been created and we can manipulate different features of the heading let's now uncheck this box called show set and we can now see different components that we can alter on the css id i'm going to now alter the font style I simply do this by heading over to the font style and there's a box right there. I click on the box and I'll select any font style that I desire. As you can see on the live view, the style has changed. I can change the color as well by clicking on the box.
let's now select the color that we want i'll select red and press enter we can clearly see that the color has changed now want to center the text and i'm gonna do this by heading back to css design panel again reminder to ensure that the heading is highlighted including the tags now we have the option of aligning the text so i'll align it in the middle basically the center yes that worked the heading is now in the center of our web page Finally, let's preview our final product on the browser. So that's it. Those are all the required basics to beginning the journey of creating the website you dream of. I would now like to take this opportunity to thank you for watching. Thank you very much.